What is up dudes, Buster C4 here. Today I'm here with my third episode of field tests. Today I'm going to be field testing the Stanley Sidewinder worm. It's uh, pushing up weightless today. Uh, I have uh, a couple of weights, a couple of hooks um, in, my, uh, in my pocket. Uh, I got this in my mystery tackle box back in like January. Never used it. Uh, but it's really cool guys. Uh, most of the worm is ribbed. It's ribbed ribs on the uh, you know on the body. I have about a half inch of plastic right up here. Um, that's where you insert your hook. I have about an inch of plastic back here. About a quarter inch of that is salt is hard plastic. And you actually have a hollow chamber here, which is designed for you to put either a rattle in or you, know, you can leave it uh leave it uh you know free and um, you have a uh, kind of an air pocket. So guys, I got this in a, like a chartreuse and watermelon color. Uh, you saw it there. This is on a 3 uh EWG worm hook. I prefer to fish on a 2 watt, but I'm really low on my uh, weightless worm hooks. And the only 2 watt hooks I have are uh, regular, oh, that was a bluegill I think, are uh, regular worm hooks and uh, they're just a little bit too thin for a worm this thick. So you guys have really nice action on it. I'm gonna be seeing my catch some bass on it. Yeah guys. Oh crap. I'll uh, get back to you. Hopefully it's some more fish. Alright guys, got a little dude on the Stanley Sidewinder. Fishing it just under the surface. Yes! First fish guys. Um I actually I lost one well, it's about twice this size, maybe three times this size, um, back under the bridge. I'm just, I just was waking that bait right along this weed line. You know, guys, this has the make of a good topwater bait. Um, slammed it. As I was saying, guys, it has the make of a good topwater bait. Um, it stays on top of the surface pretty well, um, from what I saw right there. It, you know, it just it looks like a good topwater bait. I actually had my line caught off in this branch, so I was lucky to get him. Make a, a nice cast like that, just waking along like this. Kind of right along the edge of that weed line. He came up and slurped it. Alright guys, I got something really big on right now. Nice bass. On the Stanley Sidewinder. Huge fish right now, guys. Huge. Let's go! Woo. That's a solid, solid fish right there, guys. I didn't even realize I had one at first. I thought I was just snagged. He'll go, I don't know. Two, maybe? Two and a half? It's a solid fish right there, guys. That's just about the size I'm looking for. Fish like that, guys, is pretty rare in this pond, so I'm gonna pause, get a quick picture of it, and uh, I'll get back to you. Alright guys, got a couple of quick photos. That's a bird. Let's let him go. Off he goes, guys. Woo! That's awesome right there. Caught, once again, oh, he ripped my worm in half on the Stanley Sidewinder. That's what a big bass will do to your worm, guys. I mean, that guy wasn't even huge. It's awesome, guys. I'll put a, I'm gonna put on a new worm. Um, only have uh, three left since I only got a sample pack in my MTB. And uh, I'll get back to you. Hopefully, get some more big fish like that. All right, guys. I got another one on the Stanley Sidewinder right here under the bridge. I think he spat my worm. I'm not sure. Another nice fish, guys. Nope. Oh, no, I think he did spit my worm. Oh, no, he didn't. He just ate it. Whew. Nice fish, guys. Ate the Stanley Sidewinder. Alright, guys, that fish actually broke my line. It wriggled. Uh, you know, just slipped out of my hand, and, uh, it, uh, it just snapped the line. So, I might have been able to get the hook out otherwise. But now I'm just not so sure. So I'm gonna see if I can 
figure out a way to fish this on a two watt without the wide gap. I'm not sure, I may actually trim down the bait. Alright guys, got a little dude under the bridge here um, on the Stanley Sidewinder. And it's right in the corner of the back there. This is a good bait guys, I really like it. This color seems to work well in this uh, murky uh, largemouth water. I guess that's a pretty small fish, but still fun. What I did guys is I just made a little, pinched off the ribs on the top part where the hook, where the hook lies, um, so that, um, so that when the fish and when I set the hook, the hook um, has a little bit more uh, passage room to get into the mouth of that fish. So guys, yeah, I'll uh, get back to you. Alright guys, so I gotta head out. Had a pretty awesome time. Caught fish on this bait, the Stanley uh, Sidewinder. I, uh, I'm gonna be probably fishing this in later videos at this location, possibly also at the falls. Um, yeah, awesome bait guys, definitely recommend picking it up. I'm not sure how much it costs, but if you want to pick up a bag of these for pond fishing, then, uh, I highly recommend them. The setup I was using today is a, uh, 6 foot 6 Gander Mountain Vortex spinning rod. They're, uh, pretty awesome rod guys, and, uh, got my Shimano Saina spinning reel with 10 pound suffix braid and 8 pound Berkeley Trilene leader. They're pretty awesome guys. The leader is roughly, let's see, roughly five, 5 feet long, a little less, 4 foot 6. I, well actually probably about 5 foot 6 foot 6 five. Anyway guys, I'll uh, get back to you in the next video. So, uh, please like, comment, subscribe, and have an awesome day.